Hello everyone, here I will introduce you our expansion pattern analysis model. And uh, this is our original data, and we just use this uh, four-year data as an example. Uh, and for our uh, analysis, uh, our tool, uh, since our data source is not patch data, uh, the polygon generated by raster data are continuous and not countable like patch. So the processing method is a little bit uh, different from the original method. Uh, we first compare the overlap boundaries of two years data, uh, and we use the hexagonal grid to divide the comprehension area, calculating the length of the overlapping area and the length of the total expansion boundary within uh, each hexagon, and finally determine the expansion pattern uh, uh, within each hexagon. And now let's look at the tool. Uh, we just need to enter four uh, parameters. First is the origin data path. We just find this path. Uh, here we can see the origin. Uh, uh, and, uh, we, and during this uh, analysis, uh, we also need to give them uh, intermediate data pass. Uh, uh, so let's first say that there's nothing in the intermediate data uh, file and the final output data file. Uh, we just find these two files. This is our final data file. Uh, and for the identity fishnet, here just means we should uh, uh, we should give them uh here just means the hexagen uh used for the comprehension uh, used for the comprehension area. I will just find it and let's just uh, click wrong and uh, wait for the result. Okay, here we can see we generate many files, uh, ship files in the intermediate uh, file and the final output data file. Uh, we first close the original data. Let's uh, just uh, use the uh, 2005 and 2001 result and, uh, uh, as an example. First, we just uh, visualize the result by existing tool. Use the apply uh, symbol from layers. And okay, for the analysis result, we can see that the expansion boundaries and the intersection boundaries between two years, and the, uh, and uh, there are also the polygon with information about the different expansion pattern. Among them, the green uh, represents uh, infilling expansion uh, expansion pattern, yellow represents the uh, spreading expansion pattern, and the red represents the uh, in-cave expansion pattern. Hello everyone, here I will introduce the graduate migration model. Uh, by using this model, well, we can calculate the annual uh, change in the gravity center of the raster value in the study area. Uh, we will figure out the raster gravity center for each year and string together the gravity center point one by one to form a time series migration path. Here I will make a demonstration with uh, nighttime lighting data. And uh, this is our origin formula. As we can see now, here are the origin uh, raster data set, and we just need to know its location. Uh, oh, uh, here I will just click this tool, and uh, we just need to put uh, input three parameters. First is a uh, first is a raster file list. Uh, so we just need to locate where those rasters are, and just click here uh, and find the rasters path. Uh, the nighttime light image, uh, and just here we can see that uh, uh, these two uh, these two location uh, is the same. Uh, and uh, I also say that here uh, there's nothing in the result and nothing in the intermediate file. Um, so uh, uh, as we do in the data process, uh, some intermediate data uh, will generate. So we we need to give them uh, just a, a store storage path. And for the uh, for the result file, we give, we give them another uh, give them another file path, and just uh, we just need to input those three parameters and click run. Okay, I think the progress has already finished. Let's see what we got in the uh, result file. 
uh, we can say that here's uh, uh, here uh, pair three a uh, pair three different files. Uh, we can just uh, click this uh, and see uh, <clears throat> just uh, two shape file and uh, one uh, and one Excel table. Here uh, the Excel table record uh, the gravity center for each year uh, and uh, the point. Uh, just uh, just uh, we just first. Okay, did it the same? We can see that the point file means the gravity center for uh for each uh, for each year, and the uh, and the line and the line file means uh the gravity migration path. Although we have got the result, but we can't uh, understand what they mean clearly. So we also made a gravity migration visualization tool. So in this tool, we just need to put the uh, uh put the result uh, get from the last tool. Uh, uh, just the graph center and the migration path. And we also need to give them a symbology that has already been defined before. Uh, so just the point uh, symbology and the, line, uh, and the line symbol here, we just find them, uh, the line symbol and the point symbol. And also uh, here this tool will generate uh, uh, all, uh, Generate a picture, so we just need to uh, give him same uh, output location, which uh, we also put it in the result file. Uh, just give him a name, migration result, and just uh, click. Let's see what will happen. Okay, I think the visualization tool has already finished. Here we can see that um, it uh, help, uh, it uh, it makes some uh, label that tell us uh, which point uh, the graduate center graduate center belongs the graduate center belongs to which year, and uh, it also uh, visualizes the line to a uh, arrow style and tell us the migration path. Uh, and also we can just uh, find the output picture in our result uh, file and here uh, we, we can see that it automatically generated a new picture and uh, uh, record the uh, uh, record error information we have just uh, told uh, we have just told uh, and by using this kind of uh, uh, this kind of uh, data processing uh, we can we can generate many different uh, raster indicators um in just uh in a short time uh, including pm 2.5 lst nighttime data and nevf